now this is a inverse trigonometric function INA, INA question 7 so uh, in this question it is uh, uh, we have to find uh, we have to solve this equation get s integer of cos inverse x plus get s integer of sin inverse x equals to 0 for uh, non negative values of x that is x is greater than or equal to 0 for x greater than or equal to 0 we have to find the values of x that satisfy this equation now see this is a uh, uh, we'll prefer to do it graphically because uh, you know we know how to draw graph of greatest integer of fx using graph of fx so using this technique we'll draw graph of greatest integer of sine inverse x as well as greatest integer of cos inverse x and then we plot minus greatest integer of cos inverse x and you know if when we replace y by minus y we reflect in x axis so we'll draw the graph of this left hand side and we we'll draw the graph of right hand side that is y equal to sin inverse x greatest integer and y equal to minus greatest integer of cos inverse x and then we have to figure out where the two are equal where this equal to this it means where the two graphs intersect points of intersection between two graphs common points on two graphs so we start with greatest integer this is sin inverse x right this is a uh, pi by 2 and we just have to take the positive part so negative part we don't have to worry about you know we draw horizontal lines we draw y equal to 1 line and we draw y equal to 2 line and one point uh, pi by 2 is 1.57 so it is between 1 and 2 we draw y equal to 0 line right mark points of intersection only two points of intersection between two consecutive points of intersection this is like this is the value of x is where this is sine inverse x equals to 1 so x equal to sine 1 this is sine 1 and you know uh, sorry this is this value is 1 so you can see between 0 and sine 1 greatest uh, sine inverse x is between 0 and 1 right in this interval sine inverse x is between 0 and 1 when you take greatest integer of it it becomes 0 right this is the graph and between sine 1 and 1 it becomes 1 like this so this red one is a graph of uh, greatest integer of sine inverse x this red part similarly we will draw graph of cos inverse x for positive values cos inverse x is like this pi by 2 0 1 we draw horizontal line y equal to 0 y equal to 1 and y equal to 2 mark points of intersection right between two consecutive points of intersection this is cos 1 between two consecutive points of intersection you know, like with 0 this point of intersection will come on this side so you can see between 0 and cos 1 cos inverse x lies between 1 and 2 so greatest integer is greatest integer is equal to 1 and between cos 1 and 1 it is between 0 and 1 so greatest integer is 0 so this again the red one is the graph of cos, uh, cos greatest integer of cos inverse x now greatest integer of this is cos inverse x greatest integer we draw minus greatest integer of cos inverse x that is reflection of this in x axis so you can see the area between cos 1 and 1 will remain here but between 0 and cos 1 will become negative it will become minus 1 like this minus 1 right now we have to see where this graph where this graph and this graph are equal if you overlap them then the points of intersection now before we can say before we can comment before we can overlap we need to understand where we need to compare sin 1 and cos 1 to see which one is greater so that we can figure out with the help of graph of sin sin goes like this it uh, at x equal to 1 this is sin, sin 1 cos you know 
uh, they intersect at pi by 4 pi by 4 is uh, uh, is a value which is less than one, less than 1 at pi by 4 they, they meet 3.14 divided by 4 is a value that is less than 1 so graph of they meet at pi by 4 graph of cos comes down like this so you can see at pi by at, at 1 cos is below sine right sine is a rising graph at pi by 4 they meet sine and cos and then sine goes up and cos comes down so cos 1 is less than sine 1 so we have to if even we overlap the two so I let, let's let's uh, draw sine inverse x on the same scale it is start will start from 0 and go till sine 1 sine 1 is somewhere here this loop I'm, I've, I've just shifted it so that you can see uh, the overlap part right open circle at sine 1 and then it is like this so the blue one is sine uh, blue one is uh, greatest integer of sine inverse x and red one is minus cos inverse now see where the e equal points of intersection see this part between cos 1 and sine 1 see this part between cos 1 and sin 1 uh, they are equal right so we can say the overlap part is from cos 1 to sin 1 so in this interval uh, we can say uh, or these are the values of x where the two will be equal right where the two will be equal but uh, leaving out the open circle we have left the open circle on both the sides fine so cos 1 to sin 1 are those values where greatest integer of sin inverse x equals to minus cos inverse x